We are back with some more West Ham manager mode, but we are playing with Portugal. We have a handful or a two. I don't know why I say handful. Two international friendlies. This one is against Wales. But I read your comments the last time we played with Portugal. You guys wanted me to make some changes. You suggested to put Ronaldo as our number nine, as our striker instead of Eder, and then put Dani as our left winger. So there it is. Dani, Ronaldo, and Nani up front. Carvalho. I forgot what else we had in the midfield. Anyways, man, we played this friendly against Wales, and it was horrible. It was a boring, boring match. It ended up being a nil-nil draw, which wasn't attractive. It wasn't attractive. So here we are in the second friendly. This one is against Norway, and this one was better. This one was better. You'll see what what what, what managed to happen during this game. But we are playing with Cristiano up front as our as our striker. But instead of Dani, since we played him in the last match, I wanted to play with Bruma. I wanted to try out Bruma as our, as our left winger, and right here, only in the sixth minute, he goes down with an injury. So that's very unfortunate. I didn't even get to see Bruma play, so now we have to take him out. He's really really hurt. And we're going to try out Rafa now. So these two youngsters, I wanted to try them out. I wanted to see what they have. Now we're trying out Rafa. But right here, Norway was on the attack. Nice save from Beto. Then we're screwing up on defense. But, you know, speaking of, of Norway and stuff, how about Martin Odegaard? Odegaard? Something like that? His last name? I mean, he's the, the Norwegian wonder kid or wonder boy, whatever they call him, man. Signing for Real Madrid at the young age, very young age of 16. I mean, that's that's amazing. That is something else. We'll see how he ends up performing, but I'm excited to watch him play. I saw a couple of videos of him, and uh, he looked like 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 a like a young beast, like a young god. But it, it was, you know, I get. I don't know how tough the Norwegian league is. I don't know how good the defenses are. This and that. We'll just see how he plays in Real Madrid. Obviously, it is going to be a step up and, and it is going to be tougher, but I'm excited to watch him play. So anyways, man, we end up scoring the goal. Nice assist uh, from Cristiano Ronaldo, but right here in Norway with, with another opportunity. Beto, man. Beto. I, I like him. I like him on goal. Instead of Rui Patricio, I think Beto is, is winning the match right now. Ronaldo right here goes to Rafa, and look at how long we took to decide to shoot. Then Ronaldo also, you know, I don't know what the hell that, that rebound shot was. But anyways, right here it was late in the match. 89th minute. Pepe doing a Pepe. Pepe. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> my fault, man. Missed time tackle. We, 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 ah, that was frustrating. That was really, really frustrating. So here's Norway to give us some 90th minute cheese. Surely enough, it hits the post and bounces in. That's, that, e that sucks even more. Anyways, one to one draw full time. That's it, man. We didn't. Play, we didn't play such a t terrible game. We 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 out we out possession them. We had more shots, more on target than them. We should have won this match, but we didn't. Now, flipping the switch. Now we're back to being the West Ham manager. Now we're back to the Barclays Premier League. Now we're visiting Sunderland. 17 points, second place, and look at Sunderland. One damn point. So I'm gonna be heated, boys. I'm gonna be heated. If we drop points tonight, I, I'm, I'm benching every single one of these noobs because two days from now, we have a very important Champions League match against Copenhagen. And guys, I, I don't want to use any of my starters. I don't want to use Mbai Niang. I don't want to use Enar Valencia if I don't have to. I don't want to use anyone. So right here, Raul Jimenez leaves it off. Ravel Morrison making me happy, making me smile. 32nd minute. We end up opening up the scoreboards. Nice, nice chance. Uh, very nice feed. We move the ball beautifully, finding the open man. That's some basketball terms right there. But Raul Jimenez with a nice assist to nice assist to Ravel Morrison, our center attacking mid. And the young beast puts it into the back of the net. There wasn't really a lot of chances. It was kind of boring. I'm not even going to lie to you. It was very boring, actually, uh, the, the, this, this first half. But right here, Sunderland just trying from anywhere. You know, they, they shortly after we scored the goal, they tried that one from outside the box it went over the crossbar 44th minute another chance for them and if you didn't notice we have Alex Meret on goal which had me a little bit nervous you know not playing with Adrian who's been a beast you know not only this season but last season you guys know he he was the most valuable player in the Barclays Premier League but look at the stats it was I mean we only had one shot and that, that ended up being our goal right here I had to use and buy Niang we had to do something look at that it was the 80th minute and it was still 1-0. I wanted to put this one out of reach for Sunderland right here in the 83rd minute. We're, we're screwing up, guys. We're screwing up. We're trying to lose this game. What are we doing? But nice save from our backup goalkeeper, Alex Mered. Nice save from him. That had me nervous. I'm not even going to lie. Right here in Bainian goes to Ravel Morrison. 
Oh my goodness, he had the dagger right there. He misses the great opportunity, but no worries. The ref blows a whistle. We win this match. Alex Meret hyped up. He was hyped up. I think this was his debut in the Barclays Premier Ah, man, I don't know. I had played him in the cup. I know he had played in the cup, but I don't know if this was his Barclays Premier League debut. Anyways, man, we win this match. Very important match coming up in two days. Once again, some Champions League football. Thank you guys for watching. Likes greatly appreciate it. Catch you guys on the next one. Por eso hacía gracia cuando el año pasado, no, me el rey del...